Hi, everybody. This is Paul Kenny of Jeunesse Global here in the United States. And I want to start off by welcoming you all to this Jeunesse Global Philippines presentation. Um, my name's Paul Kenny again, and I've been involved as a network marketer for almost 30 years. And uh, my career has included being involved in really only two companies. Uh, my prior company where I spent over 16 years. So, you know, making a decision not to be in one that one company was a difficult decision to make. However, even though we had built a major international business in that company and had become among the top income earners in the world in the network marketing arena, a very, very good friend of mine who had worked with me in that past business had introduced me a few years back to Jeunesse Global. And, you know, we started off, my partner, Dr. Pam, and I, as uh, product users. And we were really getting great benefits from using both the skincare and the nutritional products that you're going to be hearing about in just a moment. But more importantly than that, you know, it became apparent to us that Jeunesse was a very different company. Uh, from everything from the founders of the company, uh, the chief visionary officer that you'll be hearing about in a moment, incredible product line, and, and one of the most fair and balanced compensation plans we had ever seen, all of it built on a major global platform. And so what we're going to be doing in this Zoom presentation, for lots of you, it's going to be your first chance to learn about Jeunesse Global, to see the opportunity for you, what this can mean for your family in terms of their, their health, and their, in terms of well-being, also in terms of all the financial benefits that could be available for you. And I'm really honored to be introducing actually the individual that sponsored Pam and myself into Jeunesse Global. We've been partners and we've been friends for many, many years. And Lyndon today is a double diamond. Lyndon Banoff is from Australia. Now his business actually spans the globe. Lyndon has hundreds of thousands of distributors all over the globe. He's a globe charter himself. Uh, Lyndon actually was the leader that really launched the Philippines for Jeunesse Global. Lyndon has, uh, a, is a guy that has tremendous heart. He's an a extremely successful network marketer. Not only is he among the top income earners in Jeunesse Global, Lyndon is among the top income earners in the world in network marketing. So. I'm going to introduce Lyndon to you right now, and Lyndon is going to be presenting to you the incredible story of this movement called Jeunesse Global, and you're going to get to see the incredible timing for you watching this Zoom right now there in the Philippines. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Lyndon Bernoff. Thank you, Paul. I uh, just want to double check that uh, the screen share has come through fine. You can see my screen okay, Paul, if you can give me a thumbs up. Fantastic. Hold on a minute, and, Linda. Uh, One minute. Sound coming through okay? Let's see if you can give me a thumbs up if there's uh, sounds fine. All right. Well, it sounds like that we're um, that we're good to go. So, okay. I'm viewing your screen, Lyndon. Fantastic. So let's just see if we can um, you double click on that. Let's see if I can put it into uh, full screen for a second. Sorry, guys, I've just lost, oh, there we go. I'm just losing my function to go to full screen. Let's just see if I can move this bar at the top here. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go back for a second and just release that screen. Sorry guys, I'm just losing my uh, my icon here to take it to full presentation mode. Let me just try again. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Whoops.
There we go. We'll move that down the bottom. That works. All right. Don't you love technology? All right, there we go, guys. I think we're all set. Uh, so just, just confirming you've got my full screen there. You can see the Jeunesse page um, and, uh, and there's me. So, so I really want to thank um, Paul for that introduction and also uh, Victor and Louis for making uh, this presentation popular, sorry, possible. Uh, into Cebu and Manila, it certainly is crazy times that we live in at the moment. It doesn't matter where. We are around the world, we're all touched by that one common uh, issue at the moment that is uh, causing you know, so much stress, whether it's in the Philippines or the United States or, or even here uh, in Australia. Most of us are in lockdown at the moment. Uh, most of us are um, uh, just shaking our head day by day with, uh, with, with uh, what's happening at the moment. But today, we're gonna to be talking about an industry that I believe brings an incredible amount of hope it's an industry that I've been part of for 33 years. I started as a teenager. I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about my story as we go through tonight's presentation. But, you know, one thing that we know that is sure over the coming months, it's going to be a really tough ride. And, and I know that in my country, in Australia, I know it's no different in the United States and the same in the Philippines. There are a lot of people that are crying out for solutions, people that aren't able to work, people that were employed for years that now, you know, have no job. Uh, you know, this industry uh, was always uh, most commonly an additional income stream for people, something that they can do on top of their day job. For many people now, this is becoming full time, really out of necessity, a way of generating income. Even when you're locked, uh, when you're, even with, if you're in lockdown at home, if you've got a computer, if you've got a phone, you can still get out and build a business uh, and generate some income. So let me just paint a little bit of the background because this is an industry that I started um, in back in 1987. That was my starting point uh, into network marketing. And I want to uh, talk a little bit about how network marketing has, has changed, a little bit of the background. I know for me, the reason that I've had so much success, you know, I've got a team of half a million people. I, I travel to around 50 countries a year um, 130 different uh, countries my team is represented. You know, I'm successful because I'm very passionate about network marketing. I love this industry. I know what can be achieved if you work hard. But the only way you're gonna do well as a network marketer is if you really truly respect the power of what this industry can provide. So let me give you just a little bit of the background about why network marketing is more relevant today in 2020 than what it's ever been. You know, whether you realise it or not, people that are going to bed tonight are struggling to sleep, uh, not only because of most commonly financial challenges, but also health challenges as well. And, and for many people, they're worrying about both of those issues, you know, very much at the same time. You know, this industry, you know, offers a solution as virtually everyone that we can talk to has an interest in one way or another with what we have. They just may not know it yet. If we look at the challenge around the world, the global dilemma is very much an, ec an economic one. It doesn't matter whether you live in, in the United States, you know, that the country where anything is, po is possible, or whether you live in Australia, you know, where nickname is the lucky country. Um, even if you live in those countries that people are envious of, um, uh, being financially secure comes down to uh, employment. But even with um, uh, being employed, you may still uh, not be able to live the sort of life that you'd like to live. I know in Australia, if the average Australian family were to lose their income stream, people run out of money within a couple of weeks. So this is where network marketing has paid such an important role around the world because it gives people an opportunity to live more of the lifestyle that they would like. Now, not everyone wants to be a full-time networker like me. You know, I've earned uh, very large levels of income for, for decades. Most people who come into this industry just want to be a little bit more comfortable. Be able to afford products that they want to use uh, and not put stress, you know, on their own income. Uh, some people want to be able to earn a level of income that's representative of a part or a full-time career. 
And some people are just big dreamers. You know, they want to be able to have the opportunity to earn what a sports star might earn, what a bank CEO might earn. And all of those things are possible in this industry, depending on the level of respect and time that you put in. Um, it's an industry that's been around for a long time. And it's an industry that is the opposite to most. You know, this industry grows well during the good times, but it actually grows even faster during the challenging times, especially when people are looking for alternative uh, income streams. And its past history has been long. Uh, network marketing has been uh, in existence for uh, well over 100 years. And in that period of time, around 200 million people have become network marketers in, in whichever company they've chosen to join. Now, the interesting thing is that around the world, uh, it's anywhere between one in four to one in 10 households are already represented by home-based business. But the rate of growth moving forward is going to be about 10 times more than the rate of growth in the past. We're starting to even see universities providing degree courses in network marketing. It's an industry that's changed rapidly, especially for me when I started back in the 80s. Network marketing was a little bit fringe back then, a little bit misunderstood, where today it's become uh, virtually mainstream. I love this article because this article was written after the last big financial crisis. You know, we're experiencing the beginnings of one now uh, in the uncertain times that we have in 2020, but the last time this happened, uh, was back uh, between 2007 and, and 2010. And uh, that was the scene of the global financial crisis. The Wall Street Journal wrote an article uh, which was titled The Ultimate Social Business Model, Why Now is Prime Time for Direct Selling? And it was because of their fascination as to why this industry was growing and thriving when most other businesses were struggling or even going into bankruptcy. Um, it's an industry that's always performed well in challenging times. I, I love these pictures here. You can recognize these faces on the screen. I mean, Richard Branson, he's one of the best entrepreneurs that the world has ever seen. Um, you know, he started a network company very similar to what we're talking about today. And if you're a reader, you've read that world's best selling book, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you know that Robert Kiyosaki recommends that every uh, family, Filipino, American, Australian, and anyone in between, you know, has an income stream through network marketing. And lastly, that controversial person on the right, of which no one can agree uh, whether he's a good or a bad president, but the one thing everyone can agree is that he is a great entrepreneur. And that was probably the only reason he ever had a chance at being the president of the United States. Um, you know, his career has also moved in the circles of network marketing. You look at some of the past world leaders that have, and present, that have endorsed and recommended this industry. It's a long, long list and quite a diverse list. But I love this guy because if you were to have the world's expert manage your family's finances, you'd pick this man. You know, Warren Buffett is the most talented investor the world has ever seen and probably will ever see. And he's gone on record saying that cash on cash return, network marketing has been the best investment that he's ever made. So if you're going to succeed in this industry, it's important to have an appreciation about what network marketing is all about. I love that when I came into the industry, when it was fringe, it moved into, an, into a, a realm where it became mainstream and a lot of big, massive companies started to use this style of platform in one way, shape or form to market their products or services. You know, things have je definitely dramatically changed, you know, over the past two decades. The biggest uh, driver of business today are what we call baby boomers. So these are people that are kind of in their retirement uh, zone. You know, they're in their, maybe at the youngest, they're in their late fifties and they go right through into, into their seventies and they're people who want to be able to lead a new lifestyle. They want to be able to live life on their terms. They want to be able to enjoy their family. They want to enjoy their golden years. And for many people, that's not possible. And so baby boomers are coming into this industry en masse to be able to, again, supplement you know, their retirement uh, income. So guys, a little bit about myself. Network marketing is known as a relationship industry. If you're going to join uh, Jeunesse today after seeing this Zoom, it'll be because 
it kind of makes sense. You like the products, you like the style of business, but secondly, you like the person that is sharing this information with you. Um, and um, that's why we call it a relationship industry. People make a decision about a company and people make a decision about a person and someone that you can relate to. So for me, my start in this, in this industry happened when I was 17 years of age. I decided to leave my science degree at university to become a full-time network marketer. My friends thought I was absolutely insane and crazy. They couldn't understand it. But I'd watched someone over 10 years generate a lot of success in this industry and a lot of money. And this person promised to coach and train me and show me what to do. And so that's why joining network marketing was easy. So I want to show you my coach and mentor. And it kind of illustrates my story a little bit. So on the top right-hand corner of screen, that's my mum, Joanne. Uh, she started in this industry back in the 70s. And it was during, during very difficult times for our family. My father had passed away and my mum was left to raise three young children on her own. And she was in a desperate financial situation. A bank was reminding her every week that they were going to take the house away. And someone told her about this industry. They invited her along to a, an opportunity meeting. Now, she'd never even understood what network marketing is. She'd never joined a company. And so for her, it was all foreign and new. But it, it gave her a sense of hope. It made sense. She decided to join. And the good thing for me and my brother and sister was that my mum was actually really talented. And within the space of four or five years, we were still living in our family home. The only difference was that now she owned it, you know, not the bank. So I grew up in this environment where my mum kind of became my hero. She kind of showed me what was possible if you were prepared to work hard. And so we worked together for the best part of 20 years as a mother and son team. And I was able to achieve most of my life goals and dreams. I was able to travel the world. I was able to meet my, my, uh, my future wife. And, um, and when my mum retired and I started to build this industry on my own, my career kind of went to another level. You know, I was now regularly, you know, in the top 100 global earners. And I made the foolish decision that at 38, all of my goals and dreams were completed and it was time to retire, it was time to relax. And at that time, the European magazine, the uh, United Networker, did a story about my career. Now, I don't even buy this magazine, but uh, when it went to print, they sent me a box, they arrived at my door, and I opened the box and I saw, wow, on the front cover, here was I next to a Hollywood actor, uh, Sylvester Stallone. And I kind of thought, you know, my friends kind of laughed at my decision, you know, 20 years ago to come into this industry. And, you know, maybe that decision wasn't so bad after all. So retirement was definitely not for me. The smartest decision I ever made was coming into network marketing. The dumbest was leaving it. You know, realistically, network marketing, if you're able to build a successful career, can be one of the most satisfying careers that you can have. I mean, if you kind of think about it, and I, if I asked you a couple of questions, you know, how many people feel that there are more countries that you need to travel to? Most people say yes. You know, how many people feel that there are more beaches that you need to explore? How many people feel that there are more cultures, more cuisines that you want to experience? How many people feel that there are more friends that you're yet to make around the world? Well, this was what network marketing was all about for me. And I was being paid to do all of those things. So why walk away? So I decided to come back into this industry, but set some lofty new goals. Those new goals would be, I'd come back into network marketing if I could uncover the next global icon, you know, a billion dollar brand, a, a company where average everyday people could do extraordinary things. And if I could find that company, my second goal was to be able to help create industry millionaires, you know, in top 100 global performers. This is what I wanted to do. And so I was patient to search and search and look until I found that company that I thought really had that X factor. Now, that didn't happen overnight. In fact, it took me almost three years to find Jeunesse. But when I found Jeunesse, I went on record saying, 
uh, in MLM times that I believe that we're in the golden age of this industry. And the reason for that was that network marketers in the space of 10 years were almost earning double at the top end of companies than ever before. And there's very few careers where, indus- where, where incomes and, uh, um, had, um, and salaries had doubled in the space of that time, but it had happened in this industry. So when I found Jeunesse, I believed that it had all of the core ingredients to be that next uh, global icon. And I started sharing a message, you know, traveling the world, talking about why I believed that network mar- that uh, Jeunesse would become the next billion dollar company. Now, not everyone believed me, but some people did. And I've always had the obsession of being able to pay for the, ex- the success that I've had in in, uh, in this industry to as many other people as I can. All of those goals and dreams that I wrote down as a 20 year old with which what I wanted to achieve, I've already achieved. So my, I'm driven in helping uh, as many other people also have the same experience uh, as what I've had. So I love to pay for it, all of my trade secrets, all of my uh, experiences, you know, to uh, benefit the stars of the future, no matter what country uh, they come from. When I talk about being a global networker, I, I really am. In fact, there in the top right, right-hand corner is a nice picture there in, in McCarty doing a presentation with a whole heap of my Filipino family. But I travel all around the world. We've got Russia, we've got Scandinavia, we've got Africa, all represented uh, there on screen. And you know that we're all very different. I've learned that. We look different. You know, we have different customs, we have different cuisines. We have different religions, but for all our differences, we're actually entirely exactly the same. Because whether you're Filipino or whether you're Australian or whether you're American, we're all motivated by the common goal of fighting to create a better life for that of ourselves and also people around us that we love. And that's why network marketing works in Moscow. It works in Manila. uh, It works in, in Boston. USA. It's an industry that works uh, everywhere. When I travel around the world, 50 countries a year, sometimes I take a little bit of time out to have a bit of fun and a little bit of adventure, which is, uh, which is great too. This is my family. And what I know about family, there's nothing more important. But you know what? I didn't want a life that was locked into routine. I wanted to be able to create a life that I could design. So many people today, life has become Um, routine. You know, we grow up as children with big goals and dreams of the things that we can achieve, what we want to do. And as we become adults, we're kind of retrained to be realistic, you know, to just, you know, uh, get by, to have a job, survive through to Sunday and start all over again. And uh, life becomes very much routine. We fall into comfort zones. That wasn't what I wanted. You know, I wanted my children to feel that they could achieve anything. You know, my wife and I, Rebecca, we have big goals and dreams. We have what we call a bucket list, you know, things that we have to achieve before we die. And as we tick those things off, we always replace something that we've ticked off with something new. You know what makes life exciting? But you do have to make sacrifices. If you want to have a lifestyle that you can design, there are sacrifices to make. And some of those sacrifices are simple. It might be uh, you know, le- watching less TV than most people watch. It might be, uh, you know, um, having less free time to be able to, um, you know, socialise. Uh, but in the end, if you make those simple sacrifices to be able to cr- create a better life, it is all worthwhile in the long run. They can ne- success never happens without sacrifice. <coughs> this is really what I wanted to teach my kids. Sometimes I travel a lot and I'm away from my children and family for weeks at a time. But I have the opportunity to be able to bring them with me often as well. And this is one of my favourite pictures. It's my young daughter, Lily, and she's on stage with me a few years ago. She was uh, seven or eight years of age there. And she has an audience in front of her of about 7,000 people. This is in Thailand. And she's sharing a little message to a huge audience. Now, I can tell you she was absolutely scared to death. In fact, she experienced what's commonly known as stage fright. She couldn't get any words 
out of mouth, out of her mouth. But when she gathered the courage to share her message, you know, the crowd erupted, got very, very excited. And you can see how proud dad is watching this experience because he knows that his daughter has just learned the most valuable lesson that a parent can teach a child, which is you can do anything that you put your mind towards. So this industry has taught my children powerful lessons. If you make sacrifices, if you study hard, if you put in that effort at school, um, you have more choices in life. So, um, sacrifice uh, can lead to success. I want to show you this picture because it's truly one of my uh, also favorite pictures. You know, I love to cr collect what I call perfect days, incredible memories. And this is a moment of celebration. You know, one of my goals was to create other industry top 100 earners. Those people that don't just earn a six figure income, they earn a massive income. And here was my first two top 100 networkers. They sit in the top 100 uh, earners in the world. If you go to business for home and, and have a look at that uh, earners list and they're able to get there in the space of just three years after not having any significant success in this industry before. So to celebrate, we're sitting on a picnic table. That's in the middle of the ocean. But we're in one of the most incredible locations on the planet. This is Bora Bora, Tahiti. And uh, boy, we never wanted that day to, uh, to finish. And I always use this picture as a little bit of a temptation picture when I'm doing an opportunity meeting to show people this is what, what's possible if you're prepared to work hard, if you're prepared to fight for your dreams. And in Australia, one of my favourite stories was that of a lady that I call Chinese Susan. She was someone whose business fell over. She, was sell it. she was a, uh, had a computer store. These days, it's pretty hard to sell laptops and PCs because everyone has a computer in their phone or their, or their iPad. And so she had to reskill. She had to find a new career. And she decided network marketing was what she wanted to do, especially when she was in her mid-50s. And she built her business very slowly. She was one of those dedicated uh, leaders that would come to every event. She would come to every meeting. Um, but she didn't really get anywhere. She wasn't making any money. You know, after a first year, she made no money. After a second year, she was making a little bit of money. Um, and during her third year, she was just starting to get a few results. But she came up to me at the end of the meeting. She said, Lyndon, I've seen that picture at meetings over and over and over and over and over. I want to travel. Besides China and Australia, I've been nowhere. And I asked her to look at that picture and I said, have a, little, have a look on the right hand side of that picnic table. Is there a little space? There's a space for one more person. If you're prepared to work hard, take your business up to the level of diamond. I know that Jeunesse is going to have another reward trip to Bora Bora Tahiti in two years time. If you're able to achieve this, I will find this picnic table. And we'll take a brand new picture, a picture that, um, that is more special than the one that you can see right now. And to her credit, Susan worked incredibly hard. If truth be known, I thought that I gave her a task that was probably out of her reach and impossible. But the good thing is that Susan didn't believe it. She worked incredibly hard. Her business took off. She went from being a modest sapphire in Jeunesse, so, you know, a, a first sort of beginner's level. Uh, building a business in Jeunesse all the way to Diamond in the space of 12 months. And she qualified to come to Bora Bora, Tahiti. And I had to find that picnic table all over again and take a better picture. So when you see that photograph there, that's in the same location a few years later, that's what's possible. You know, anyone there in the Philippines can also be on that picnic table. There are four seats on the other side. We can fill it up with Filipinos that are prepared to work hard and to fight for their dreams. See, this is, you know, my lifestyle. This is where I live, one of my favorite cars. And I don't show this to boast to you, but why I'm such a passionate believer in network marketing, because it's given me everything. I've never needed a bank to buy a house or a car or go on, on holidays at will, all because of this industry. So part of what I do and what I'm more than happy to offer uh, you know, Victor and, and Louie and team uh, is that I have leadership retreats at my home uh, every few months with key leaders groups from around the world where you can come and stay in this house 
uh, where we do some coaching, mentoring, and in fact, if you're lucky, you'll even survive my cooking as well. Um, to really show you what lifestyle is actually uh, possible. I love giving back to this industry as much as I can. The owners of Jeunesse are special people. As I mentioned before, if you're gonna join Jeunesse, you'll do so for two reasons, because you love the company and products, and also you relate to the people. Well, these are the owners of Jeunesse. We're one of the only private, family-owned companies in the industry. Most network marketing companies are businesses with shareholders or investors, and they kind of lack a bit of a soul. You know, here at Jeunesse, you know, we're a family company that makes decisions based on what's good for people. And that's why we've been able to stand the test of time and how, why we've been able to build in so many different countries around the world. If we have a look at um, why Jeunesse was so successful, it kind of has, comes down to a recipe. We have what people want. You know, what people spend money on today is anti-aging. Anything that helps someone look younger, feel more confident and more healthy. This is what people want to spend money on. But when you look at uh, the network marketing industry and, the, and its history, the product categories that have been successful for 50 plus years have been skincare number one, nutrition number two, and weight loss at number three. And Jeunesse had all of those product categories and, uh, as well as a few new category creator uh, groups as well. And so this was one of the reasons when I found Jeunesse and also saw it was privately owned and also had a global footprint, I thought that was really exciting. So for me, my journey started in 2012, and this is when I explained to people, I believe this company is gonna be the next billion dollar brand, mark my word, it's gonna happen. Now, I don't really need to say that anymore because that's now history. Jeunesse has become that, that billion dollar brand uh, already and, and has done so really uh, in style. So Jeunesse has been successful because it's a family company. They put people first. But if you're a, a clever business person who does good due diligence, you can see the company's been around for 10 years. Um, there's a proven track record. It's debt free. Our products are in the right categories, but they're innovative, they're different, special. And we're popular everywhere, regardless of ethnicity or culture. We work in Asia, we work in Africa, in Europe, and the United States, everywhere. Everyone loves our products. Um, if we look at our global platform, it's around 150 countries uh, around the world um, that people can buy Jeunesse products or build the business. Now, there are two different platforms where that can be done. Uh, your country can be a full entity model, which means that we, have a that we have a local presence, an office, local shipping, currency, commissions, just like there in, the, in uh, the Philippines. Or you can look at a smaller country like Mauritius. We don't have an office there. Uh, you can't buy the product um, locally, but it can be shipped to you uh, via international currency. So we're an internet model, like some of the smaller countries, and we're a local entity model, like countries like the Philippines or India, Australia, uh, Russia, etc. This is our global headquarters, based in um, uh, Orlando, Florida. It's a massive operation. Now, Jeunesse doesn't rent or lease that building, it's owned outright. And we have a sister operation in Salt Lake City, but on top of that, 40 to 50 global offices all around the world. Uh, we have a wonderful office in Makati, uh, in Manila, but if you go to India, we've got a great office at Aero City, right next to the airport in Delhi, um, in Japan, United States, Australia, Moscow, the list goes on of offices that we have all around the world. I love this, this picture. This shows you what Jeunesse was able to do. See, I joined Jeunesse just before it was announced that we'd done $65 million in sales. Now, that's not a particularly big number in this industry. It's good, but it's, it's, it's certainly a long way off a billion dollars. But if you have a look at that graph, Jeunesse doubled its sales consecutively for five years to become the first co uh, company in network marketing history to do not only a billion dollars, but $1.1 billion 
in its sixth year. Absolutely extraordinary. Now, now this had never, ever, ever been done before. And when you think about those numbers, you, got, you need perspective. And so when you think of the brands that everyone's aware of, your Ebays and Amazons and Facebooks, it took them roughly a similar amount of time to get to, get to a billion dollars in revenue. So for a humble network marketing company, marketing great cutting edge skincare, nutrition, and weight loss, that's pretty impressive. And what I love, if you're gonna build the business in um, the Philippines, the great thing about the Philippines is that Jeunesse has really not properly been discovered there yet. So you can go out and build a business like a pioneer, virtually everyone you talk to hasn't heard about Jeunesse or is aware of our products, there are very few Filipino stars that are recognized as key leaders in Jeunesse. So there's so much upside to be able to build a business that's new and undiscovered, but yet is proven and safe and secure. If you look at a lot of the awards that uh, Jeunesse has been recognized with, in fact, now it's over 500 awards and counting. You go to Jeunesse, you can go to their trophy room. You can have a look at all the Oscars and Emmys that Jeunesse has been able to achieve again, for someone that wants to feel that they're get being part of a high quality company. Our owners, they're just special. I mean, Wendy, Randy, uh, Scott, they are amazing people. Randy was Florida Businessman of the Year multiple times. Wendy's been US Businesswoman of the Year. And Scott, well, he and his beautiful wife, Isabel, are really the future of Jeunesse. This is the face of Jeunesse for decades to come uh, into the future. And he's the best corporate executive that I've ever worked with, uh, bar none. So why has Jeunesse really taken the world by storm? Why has it captured everyone's attention and imagination? Well, it comes back to emotional connection. See, if you want to be able to build a business that will stand the test of time, people have to love it. Too many times people come into network marketing to make fast money. They want to make money quickly, but as quickly as it comes, it disappears. And that's because there is no emotional connection. And sadly in the Philippines, like many other markets around the world, there are so many companies that come and go, leaving behind you know, people with broken dreams. You know, here with Jeunesse, we have something that's a bit different because people get emotionally connected to these products. They love them. They not only want to use them today, they want to use them tomorrow, next week. In fact, they want to use them regardless of whether they're earning uh, an income or not. What really grabbed my attention was the fact that Jeunesse had uh, an incredible scientist uh, behind these products. Uh, his name was Dr. Nathan Newman. Uh, there might be someone you might need to mute there, Paul, if you're able to, you know, to, to mute them. Um, so Dr. Nathan Newman was a cosmetic surgeon in Beverly Hills that um, Randy Ray went to see uh, to have some stem cell treatment done on his knees. Uh, Randy had an issue with uh, cartilage and challenging, uh, uh, having challenges being able to walk. And he noticed that Dr. Newman was working on some incredible skincare products. Uh, now these skincare products were only in the beginning of development and he was only selling you know, 40 or 50 jar uh, jars uh, per month. And Randy, the ever-present entrepreneur, offered to uh, sell uh, 40 or 50,000 jars a month through um, uh, his uh, business skills, through network marketing. Um, when we look at what Nathan Newman was able to do, Nathan Newman was able to develop a technique called the stem cell lift. There's an incredible uh, news story out of uh, Los Angeles showing a man that had a growth removed from the back of his jaw Part of his jawbone was removed. Um, nerves were damaged. He, he looked disfigured. Um, and there was no surgical help. There was no medical help to improve his appearance. But seeing Dr. Nathan Newman, he felt that stem cells were the answer. He was able to withdraw some stem cells just from some fat tissue, grow those cells outside the body to make thousands, tens of thousands, and then inject his very own stem cells back into the area of surgical trauma and he was able to regrow the bone. He was able to repair the nerves, all the soft tissue to where he looked whole and, and perfect again. It sent the, the science world into, the, into a spin. But Dr. Newman found 
that stem cells produce chemicals that can really um, achieve wonders in the body, especially with skin care. See, to communicate in the body, stem cells uh, secrete chemicals called growth factors. In fact, the technical term um, uh, are polypeptides. And these chemicals are used to communicate to figure out what the body needs. Stem cells can become any other type of tissue that the body needs, whether it be cells for your immune system or hair on your head or to repair a, a scratch or a cut uh, with skin cells. It all comes back to the, the magic of stem cells. So they communicate secreting hundreds of these polypeptides um, and this is what, how the body communicates with stem cells. Dr. Newman found that these compounds were bioidentical for every single person on the planet and that if you use them in skin care, it could stimulate your own stem cells in the skin to produce new tissue. So this concentrate he calls APT200. This is the full list of adult produced growth factors that are used to create his skincare range called Luminess. Now this skincare range is amazing. This is uh, stem cell technology meets skincare. The signature product is our serum. 85% of the content is those stem cell growth factors. Most serums have an active component that makes up three or four or 5% of the product. This is 85%. When people apply it to the skin, it hyperactivates your own uh, stem cells to produce more skin tissue to give your skin a fuller effect. It produces more elastin, collagen, you look younger, um, et cetera. And it really was the product that got everyone very excited about Jeunesse. We have some supporting products in the range. We have the, the Advanced Night Repair Cream. This again uses APT200, but it has some uh, elements that help to hydrate the skin and repair uh, damaged DNA. The biggest enemy of the skin is the sun, and the sun causes uh, skin damage to skin cells. Uh, this helps to repair that. It can be put on at, at night time before you go to bed, dramatically hydrates the skin. We have the daily moisturizing complex that um, has a, a 30 SPF built into it. And again, the full range of APT200. We have the youth restoring cleanser that, that um, uh, not only cleans the surface of the skin, but it helps to uh, detox the skin as well, where the skin uh, purges and releases toxins. So not only on the surface, but also beneath the surface. We have the uh, Essential Body Renewal, which is a combination of the serum, the day cream, night cream, all rolled into one. It can be applied all over the body. We have the Ultimate Lifting Mask, which is a combination of plant-based polysaccharides uh, from some South American herbs combined with APT200. Now, there are about a dozen applications of the mask uh, within uh, this product. It's fully vegetable based and when it's applied you peel it off after about 20 minutes and if you take your before and after pictures you'll be shocked at, at the difference in your appearance in just one single application. Our flawless skin brightener is something that helps to uh, even out and reduce discoloration, blemishes, freckling of the skin. It kind of gives you a little bit of an airbrush look. When we have a look, a look at a lot of our before and after pictures from Jeunesse, they say a picture tells a thousand words. And you can really see what these products can do. When they're used uh, day in, day out, especially when people use the full range, the difference of what can happen to the skin is really quite extraordinary. And these are all people that I've met in my travels around the world, and the results that they've had have all been in, in really the space of a month uh, or less. I love this lady. This was a lady in Australia, uh, a very wealthy businesswoman that used the most expensive skincare. And this was her result after just 10 days. You can see her expression lines around the eyes dramatically reduced. The skin brightener, lessening those discolorations and blemishes. Uh, this is what I call the ultimate skeptics test. This was an incredible healthy lady, a personal trainer, a beautician. She's in her mid thirties that applied the full luminous range to the back of one of her hands and not the other. And this was her result in the space of one week. 
And so that's a great little science experiment to really show you what this product can do with skin in a short space of time. Men use skincare products more than ever before. And uh, this gentleman is on the uh, board of directors of one of the biggest companies in the world. He lives in Paris on the Champs-Élysées, and this was his difference. Every few months, his partner took these pictures to show how he was getting younger and younger and younger, just using stem cell-based skincare. Now, this lady used the products for 60 days, a little bit longer, but she became testimony of the year a few years ago, and it looks like she's had a full transplant facial transplant, but she was actually a skincare salesperson uh, from a very large cosmetic company for 25 years, and this was her result after 60 days. Today, she's actually a Jeunesse distributor in Dallas, Texas, um, and uh, is quite successful in Jeunesse. Uh, people are very impatient. They want results really quickly. Jeunesse, uh, four years ago, released a product called Instantly Ageless that became uh, one of the biggest selling products that network marketing has ever seen. And Instantly Ageless has kind of been nicknamed liquid Botox because it can be placed around those problem areas on the face, a little bit like makeup around the corner of the eyes and mouth to minimize puffiness and, and, and uh, eye bags and, and wrinkling, uh, you know, to give you that better, fresher look. But the results that people see happen within the space of a couple of minutes, which gets people very excited. Here's a split screen picture of one of my team members in India, and you can see the difference between the left and the right hand side, you know, using Instantly Ageless. And that's all in the space of just, you know, a minute. But this lady was an important one. She met me at one of my meetings in Indianapolis, in the United States. She came up to me, loved the whole idea of the product. She told me she was gonna try this product at home, after the meeting and she was gonna send me a video to show me her result. Now this was just in front of the bathroom mirror. She applies instantly ageless. She probably didn't even do it properly because she was so new and she got very excited with the result that she got in the space of just really a minute. She sent me the video, but she also sent the video to a local TV station and it ended up getting aired in front of millions of people on around 30 or 40 TV stations all around the United States. And that's really where the legend of Instantly Ageless kind of started. But you know, most people that buy skincare don't have terrible skin. They've generally got good skin already, but they want to maintain it. They want to keep it that way. They want to, they want to uh, promote their confidence and their appearance. So uh, this is why skincare is such a big part of the marketplace today. Now, Jeunesse has moved into a new category called functional makeup. They were able to create uh, a product called Envy, which is a spray-on based foundation. This was developed by a Hollywood cosmetologist that saw in the movie industry, there was a problem with having to, re to replace makeup and foundation uh, for actors and actresses under the hot uh, lights being on set. So she wanted to develop a spray-on foundation that was mineral based, that was also water fast, something so effective you could jump into a swimming pool and hop out and not have to reapply your foundation. Um, that was all natural with to totally different uh, color pigments that match people's own skin tones. And this is what she was able to create. She brought it to Jeunesse so that Jeunesse would market it for her around the world. And Jeunesse added their stamp. They added APT 200, all of those wonderful growth factors so that it is functional makeup that's actually good for you and healthy for your skin. And the results that people get are fantastic because when people apply makeup, sometimes it really looks quite artificial. It really looks a bit painted on. But here it's very natural, fresh. Uh, it doesn't look like thick makeup. It, it makes you really show your natural glow. So again, another great product to add to our, our stable. And around the world, we have a lot of different cool products that are available in most countries. Um, some countries uh, may not have every product, every product. This one called Reveal was to help to regrow hair. Dr. Newman found that it was a hormonal process that, that uh, prevents healthy hair growth, especially as we get older. And Reveal was designed to uh, utilize polypeptides that help to promote natural uh, or interfere with that um, 
hormonal pathway where uh, hair follicles start to die. So it promotes healthy hair, thicker hair, uh, and that's a huge problem for a lot of people today, not just in the Philippines, but also in other countries uh, around the world. So our products are featured in all manner of magazines and, and, uh, and uh, parts of the media around the world, and that's simply because of the media's curiosity with incredible science behind our products and the fact that so many of them are very new and haven't been seen before. And the nutritional range of products have been overseen by a second superstar doctor. His name is Dr. Vincent Giampapa. Uh, this guy has been, a, um, has been nominated for the Nobel Prize for Medicine. He's worked for NASA. He has a New York best-selling book. Um, this guy has an incredible anti-aging clinic uh, in South America, he is uh, virtually one of the smartest men on the planet when it comes to anti-aging. In fact, the late great Professor Stephen Hawking's on his uh, Science Channel program would interview Dr. Jim Papa on a regular basis. One of his signature products is called AM and PM Essentials, which is about giving cutting-edge nutritionals that are great for you getting your best out of your day and great for you getting the best out of your sleep that works on your genetics. It not only gives you all the different vitamins and minerals and cofactors, but it helps to stimulate the genes that keep you healthy. This is the cutting edge of nutrition. It has um, over 80 different botanical extracts represented uh, within this incredible formula, space age nutrition. Our biggest selling product at Jeunesse is actually our best tasting. It's called Reserve. Reserve is an incredible um, food-based liquid supplement that combines a range of superfoods, things like aloe vera and blueberries, cherries, pomegranate, but with a powerful extract of resveratrol. Now, resveratrol has been on 60 Minutes half a dozen times um, because of its profound effects in the body. Resveratrol works as an antioxidant, but one of the only antioxidants that works in all different tissues in the body. It's systemic, it works everywhere, um, helping to prevent disease and keeping you young. The other thing that Reserve does is that it stimulates genes in the body called sirtuins that uh, slow the rate at which the body ages. So resveratrol really has some profound effects in the body. Now, if you're a science buff, if you go to PubMed, that's the world's largest medical database, you can enter resveratrol into the search field and you'll see that there's over 5,000 peer-reviewed studies really um, validating the efficacy of resveratrol and what it can do uh, in the body. It's also something that's great for the immune system. So at times when we're concerned about infections, uh, again, uh, keeping the body strong and healthy Resveratrol and a diet rich in resveratrol is a great idea. A new product that has just been released in the Philippines, boy, this is absolutely one of my favorites. It's called Revita Blue. And again, this is cutting edge nutrition. There is no other product like this in the Philippines. It uses uh, a group of different compounds from sea buckthorn berry as the signature ingredient, aloe vera, AFA, beta glucan. These are things that help to stimulate the transference of stem cells out of your bone marrow into the blood to um, help your body perform better. What science has found is that if you have the more available stem cells you have at your disposal, the quicker the body can repair and the less your chance of disease. And this is what this product is designed to do. Signature ingredient, C. buckthorn berry, you know, is a revered botanical that has, is steeped in history in China and, and, and other nationalities for what it can do to dramatically imp improve uh, human health. Part of what, that, what was discovered was that it created a large um, increase in the transition of stem cells out of the bone marrow into the bloodstream where they can have a profound effect on the body. So this is one of my favorite products to have each morning. I can mix that up in the morning in water. It tastes fantastic, but it creates a massive effect in the body. So Revita Blue has only just been released in the Philippines uh, really in the last week or two. We have a great weight loss range called Zen Project 8. This was created 
um, by Mark McDonald, one of the, the America's best uh, fitness trainers. He's appeared on a lot of the different talk shows like Oprah, uh, et cetera, uh, all over NBC. And he believed that people that are using uh, weight loss programs in the past have been doing it all the wrong way. You know, we've been taking uh, products to replace eating, to replace meals. A lot of those meal replacements and and uh, and and uh, and meal bars, etc. And it'll help you lose weight because you're restricting calories going into the body. But unfortunately, when you stop replacing eating, the weight comes back and ex and in excess. He believed that the real reason people are putting on, on weight is because a hormone in the body called leptin is becoming less and less effective. The truth is with leptin, it's that what we call the hunger hormone or the satiety hormone. And it becomes less effective if you're uh, experiencing too much stress or um, pressure on your immune system, too much pollution, too much inflammation in the body. And let's face it, we all have those problems these days. So Mark McDonald's program is designed to be used in combination with healthy eating, where it encourages better performance of leptin, and you end up naturally not wanting to overeat, and you're able to lose weight and keep weight off uh, far more uh, easily. So a great addition to our range. So when you look at all the products that Jeunesse has, and we have some more products that I haven't mentioned that are available in different global markets, if you want to talk to people about these products, they're very conversational, very cool and easy to talk about. And the one thing I know about the Philippines, I've been to the Philippines dozens of times, is that there are very few countries around the world that are as global as the Philippines. Every country I go to around the world, I find Filipinos. Whether it's in the Middle East, in Australia, in the United States, in Europe, I meet Filipino friends all around the world. So to be able to have a business that's not only relevant in Cebu or in Manila, but that you can also build in other countries around the world, that's, that's powerful. That's very exciting. So how do you make money? Just in the last 10 minutes wrapping up. Well, there are three different types of people that get involved with Jeunesse. There are curious customers. These are people that will listen, listen to a presentation like this and, and attempted to try and use the products. And so they look for a distributor to buy them from. There are people that are definite customers. It sounds fantastic. They want to use them, but they want to buy the products uh, at the right price. They want to become members. And then there's a third group of people that are not only sold on the products, but they're also sold on the business and they want to, they want to create an income stream and they want to become distributors. So these are the three different types of people that participate with Jeunesse. And the interesting thing is when we look at all the top leaders at Jeunesse, people that go all the way to the top, half of them never had any ambition to build a business in the beginning. There were people that got great results from the products and their interest to build a business uh, uh, increased rapidly. So to get started, depending on where you live around the world, it's roughly 30 US dollars to join. And at times Jeunesse will have certain promotions where you can even uh, join for less than that, but the average cost is 30 US dollars translated to local currency where you can join and become a member. When you become a member, you're able to participate in half a dozen different income streams. Now, what I'm going to do today is just give you a little bit of a brief overview of these six different income streams. You know, firstly is retail. You having the opportunity to sell these products to customers to create some direct uh, retail income. So that's pretty simple. Secondly, we have what we call a first order bonus. When you're enrolling members, members have the opportunity to buy a value added pr uh, product pack as their first product experience. And these product packs vary from the basic pack right up to the ambassador or business pack, where you can earn an instant commission of between 25 up to $250. Now I know many people that when they start with Jeunesse, they might enroll half a dozen, 10, 12 people in their first month and have over a thousand US dollars, you know, to start their Jeunesse career. That's pretty powerful upfront income. Thirdly, we get into team commissions. This is where we now move into the area of residual or long-term income. And this is where you're wanting to, or able to earn a commission on the buying power 
of the team, the group that you put together. Not only your own product purchases, but also the product purchase of every other subsequent person that joins your network. And your network's not complicated because you're building only two teams, a left team and a right team. And when your, your total buying power of your organization hits 900 points of product, where you've got at least 300 points on one in one of your teams, Jeunesse will pay you a 35 US dollar team commission or cycle. Now these products are uh, consumable. People that buy reserve like to buy it again and again and again. You know, it's a very, very powerful, uh, popular product, the same as serum and, and our other uh, products. So when people are buying these over and over again, you can earn team commissions over and over again. So if you can build a community, if you can build um, a, a, a group of people that love using these products, you can earn some great residual commission. Now there is a catch, there is a limit on what you can earn. Those team commissions, you're able to earn uh, 750 of those in any given week. Now when you look at that level of income, uh, not only in the Philippines, but any country you can think of in the world, 26,250 US dollars for a week is amazing and astronomical in anyone's language. Now, uh, some people ask me, they say, well, look, what happens if you do more than 750 team commissions? What if you do a thousand? Then what happens? Well, I'm well qualified to answer that because I've done over 750 team commissions for quite a long time. In fact, my record is over 3,000 team commissions in a week. And every time I go over 750 commissions, anything that I have in excess is pushed forward to the following week. So it's helping to pay my team commissions forward week after week after week in the future. In fact, right now, you know, I have um, uh, uh, maxed out my weekly commissions the 750 team commissions now for over 250 weeks in a row uh, and counting. This is what's possible if you can build a great network. But the favorite part of the, of the business plan for me is what we call matching bonuses. And this is helping other people to be successful. So if I take the time to enroll someone and to help them be successful, I can earn a match on the team commissions that they generate. So this is where it helps to give people and incentivize committing to help everyone else to be successful as well. So for anyone that you personally enroll, they count as your level one uh, team member. It doesn't matter whether you put them in your left or your right team or where they sit in your genealogy. As long as you've enrolled them, you can earn a 20% match on the team commissions that they generate. And if they're enrolling people, you can earn a 15% match on the team commissions that they generate. In fact, all the way down to seven enrollment generations, where you're still earning 5% of the team commissions that they generate. So have a think about this for a moment. In most plans, if you enroll someone that's better than you and, and reaches a higher title, you tend to lose the ability to earn income unless you're outpacing them. Anyone on this um, Zoom tonight if you were able to enroll me, you know, a big player, someone who's a good networker, if you could convince me that this is the company to join and that you would help and support me, then you would have been able to earn a 20% match of my weekly commissions. 20% 20 times $26,250 is a lot of money. Every single week, week after week, week after week. This is what's possible. So Jeunesse incentivizes you to go out and 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 enroll and even find people potentially that are better than you. That's fine. You never lose the ability to earn those team commissions uh, from those big players that you might enroll. Now, if you want to supercharge those team commissions, if you have a healthy business with customers as well, then you can earn an extra five or 10% on every person you've personally enrolled where you can increase your matches from 20% all the way up to 30% by just having 10 customers. If you have five customers, you can earn an extra 5%. And a customer is someone who joins Jeunesse but never enrolls anyone else. They're just buying products for themselves. A 
And lastly, if you want to be earn the real big dollars, become a shareholder in Jeunesse. If you reach the top pin title, the rank of diamond, at the rank of diamond, you're able to earn a share in 3% of Jeunesse's international sales. Not just Filipino sales, sales in all countries. And this is paid quarterly, where you become a shareholder in Jeunesse Global. Now, if you love to travel, and I know that Filipinos are probably the one country I've been to who love traveling probably more than anyone else. Jeunesse gives you the opportunity to travel on multiple different trips each year. Sadly, this year we had uh, numerous Filipinos that had qualified to go on an all expenses paid trip to Iceland, uh, a real incredible location to travel to, but all of our reward trips this year have had to be postponed because of obviously the current travel issues uh, with the corona pandemic but you have up to half a dozen opportunities each year to, to uh, earn travel bonuses towards local travel and events and trainings, all the way to international uh, events and also holidays. So lifestyle at Jeunesse, if you build a business, it's certainly very rewarding, but we love to give back. You know, Jeunesse is a company with a big heart. We give millions of dollars each year to incredible charities that support children. Charities that create income streams to support children long term, improve economies, education, etc. But Jeunesse is also a very reactive uh, company. We love to give back to immediate challenges. So, as you know, I'm from Australia, and over the past few months, the one thing that Australia has really been challenged by is some immense bushfires. You know, fires bigger than the world has probably ever seen, where uh, millions and millions of hectares of our country has been decimated by fires. We've lost millions of animals, people that have died, homes that have been lost. And Jeunesse immediately uh, donated um, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in support to bushfire victims. And obviously the present crisis that we have with COVID-19, uh, Jeunesse donated half a million US dollars to the CDC to help fight and find a solution. Uh, for the corona pandemic. This is why I live Jeunesse. This is why I love traveling and coming, uh, uh, coming back to the Philippines regularly. For me, I've been able to achieve all my goals and dreams. I've earned a huge sum of money from this industry and I have no need for financial reasons to work anymore. But I have every need to keep doing this because I love people and I want to pay it forward to as many Filipino friends as I can. And I'm very sad that I wasn't able to be in the Philippines last week. All of my flights were cancelled. Paul and I were meant to be there in the Philippines in Cebu and in Manila. Um, but I tell you what, we're going to be back and, and we're going to be back with even more passion and support uh, to work with uh, Victor and, and, um, and Louis uh, and all of the great people that we have there uh, in the Philippines. So guys, last slide. You're probably sick of this Australian by now. Um, but if you love what you've heard uh, tonight, then talk to the person that has showed you this Zoom presentation. Get back to the leader that has stirred up your interest about Jeunesse. I can guarantee you that if you get involved in Jeunesse, you may not necessarily become the next superstar, but if you're prepared to put in the work and effort, you just might be the first diamond of the Philippines. But regardless, you're going to buy incredible products that are going to be fantastic for your health, your skin, and your overall um, performance. And you're going to be part of a company that uh, is respected globally. You know, in the Philippines, the one thing that I've noticed is that network marketing is very popular. People love network marketing. But unfortunately, in the Philippines, all too often, companies come and go uh, as quickly as day turns to night. Um, finding a long-term company that will support the Filipino market and Filipino people and will be there for your kids in the future is difficult. But Jeunesse is that company. It's proven itself. You've got an incredible general manager in Vanji Oi there in Makati, uh, Philippines. And if you've loved this Zoom and you want me to do some more training and, and opportunity events, I know that myself and Paul are more than happy to help out and do that whenever required. And, uh, and it's a real honor to be able to work with Victor and, and team. So 
I'm going to hand back to uh, Paul or Victor to close out the Zoom. And again, thank you for allowing me to be on this tonight. Everyone, please stay safe with, uh, with what's happening at the, with the pandemic right now and, and live Jeunesse. Thank you so much, Lyndon. Thank you, Paul. It's been a pleasure. Well, everybody, uh, I'd like to thank you for being on this uh, tremendous Zoom presentation. I'm, I'm sure you're excited. You see the value of what's going on with Jeunesse Global in the Philippines. What I'd like to do right now is I would like to invite Victor Deganis, Victor, who is the leader of the Thrive Team, to have some closing comments. Victor, are you with us there? Let's hold on and see if we can find Victor. Hello. There you are, Victor. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I am Vic Deganas. Uh, I am now a uh, sapphire 25 of Jeunesse uh, Philippines. I've been with uh, Jeunesse for the, uh, I'm almost four months now uh, doing Jeunesse business, but uh, in the industry five years now. And, uh, although uh, it took all three years to convince me to join uh, Jeunesse, uh, thank you, Paul, for your uh, being persistent and consistent for the last three years. Uh, you know, I, I love this industry uh, because uh, that gives uh, me a, a privilege to travel to uh, 20 countries uh, because of this industry. And uh, uh, in my previous company, uh, that uh, give me a chance to travel every year to U.S. because uh, I'm one of those who uh, got the highest rank in the Philippines. It's also a global company. Uh, but you know what? Uh, what made me decide to join Jeunesse? Uh, it's because of the the company, which I'm very uh, particular every time I joined. By the way, in my previous company, I was uh, with that company for 11 years. Uh, but uh, again, people are asking why, uh, what made me decide to join Juness. Uh, I did my due diligence in, uh, I mean, doing research. Uh, about this company. Of course, before I joined uh, a, a new company, I need to uh, do some research. So I found out that uh, stability-wise, uh, this is the only company in the, M in the entire MLM company globally that in just a span of six years, they were able to reach a sale of uh, one, point, uh, 1 billion. They generated the sales of 1 billion in just a span of six years which no other MLM company uh, was able to make. And uh, the fact that uh, 29 out of those 100 uh, top earners in this uh, industry are, comes from Jeunesse, that uh, goes to say that uh, this company really uh, has something to uh, look for. And uh, of course, the products, uh, I found it so uh, effective because uh, I, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, good testimonies in just a span of four months uh, with this company. I don't have a lot of testimonies already, uh, which I personally experience it, and from my uh, from my friends and relatives that was able to experience the effectivity of the products that's why they were able to generate billion sales annually it's because of the uh a very effective products that they have and uh, the last one is the compensation plan uh i've been as again as what i have told you i've been in this industry for 25 years this is the first time i i uh saw a company uh that's giving uh, when it comes to binary, they're not 
they don't have uh, flush out, they don't have uh, capping, they don't have uh, uh, fifth pair whatsoever. Uh, you can maximize your earnings because they're giving us uh, a maximum earnings of uh, twenty six thousand dollars a week, which uh, which uh, Lyndon is now experiencing uh, for the last two hundred fifty weeks. Uh, he told us that uh, he's been receiving a maximum been earning uh, a maximum of twenty six thousand dollars just for earning number three alone. So uh, I've seen a very, I mean, a very uh, bright future in this company. At this, uh, at at my age now, I'm, I mean, I've been looking for a company where I can uh, spend my my retirement uh, years. So uh, I found now because of you know Jeunesse, uh, I found a, a retirement company. I should say. Uh, because of uh, again, because of the stability of this business, I mean the company, uh, which is very stable, the products that we have, and the compensation plan. Now, uh, if I if it took me three years for Paul to to convince me to join, please don't do it because uh, learned it from me. So you try to do some research because it's so easy to. Google, if you're after with the stability, just Google it. If you're after with the products, just Google it. If you're after with the compensation plan, everything is there. So don't uh, don't uh, follow me that it took me three years. Uh, had I known it earlier, uh, maybe I should be uh, not just a subpar 25. But again, there's always a right time for everything. And for you guys there, this is the right time. Even if we are in this pandemic uh, situation, now we're experiencing this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, but still we, because of this uh, new technology that we have, uh, we can do this as often as we can, and we can bring in a lot of you know, prospects by so doing this uh, uh, I mean, Zoom meeting or Zoom presentation. Again, thank you. Uh, for this opportunity.